Hello and welcome back. This is Madan. In this video, we are gonna implement our another gulp task, uh, which is gonna inject uh, the CSS and uh, JavaScript file for us automatically into the layout file. So till now, what we are doing is that whenever we install any JavaScript, whenever we install any client-side libraries such as JavaScript or CSS, we come here and uh, provide the reference to that file uh, into the CSS and JavaScript section of the layout.cshtml page uh, though this is not a big deal but uh, uh, even when we are uh, dealing with large number of uh, client-side libraries uh, then uh, uh, automating their injection um, into our layout.cshtml file uh, would give us a great benefit so it saves the time and uh, we don't need to type the whole a lot of these things here so let's implement our task here so for that what we're gonna need is we need to go over to the package the json file and we need to create the two section i'm gonna create name it js files and this is the area of the files javascript files that we need to inject into our layout.cshtml so right at the moment our page is using those these javascript files so we need to put the link the reference or we need to specify the path to this javascript file into this section and uh, i'm gonna create another section called css underscore files and uh, this section contains all of our css files that we are uh, that we need to inject in our layout.cshtml file so let's save this and uh, i'm gonna go over to this slide and i have already uh, typed the name of the the reference to our javascript file and css file so i'm just gonna copy this here just to save the time let's paste it here so these are the javascript files that we are using in our project right now and uh, i'm gonna copy this file the css files that we are using in our project right now so now we tell the gulp to inject those files into our layout.cshtml uh, automatically so with this whenever we install any new package and any new client side libraries into our project what we need to do is we need to come here and include the uh, javascript file in this section and css file in this section so that is all we need to do and the rest of the task uh, will be handled by the gulp so after that let's head over back to the slide and i have uh, prepared a uh, uh, small script uh, which task is to inject the files that are listed here into the layout.cshtml so let's uh, i'm gonna paste it here so this is the name of this task is inject and it's gonna look for the files that are listed into js underscore file section of package.json file and it also looks for all those files that are listed in css underscore file section of the package.json file that brings all those two files here and then it combines those two all those two arrays of the files and put that into a single array and finally it's gonna inject that into our layout.cshtml so for this to happen we need to bring in some of the gulp plugins so let's head over back to this slide and uh, we need a plugin called gulp inject and we also require a file system copy this and i'm going to paste it here paste it here so now we need to install gulp inject plugin into our project and this file system is available locally we don't need to install this so let's open the terminal and then i'm going to install npm install gulp dash inject save dev since this is a development dependency and it has installed the uh, gulp inject successfully we can verify that from here so gulp inject has been installed successfully now the final thing we need to do to make this happen is 
we need to include these two sections in our layout.css.html file where the CSS and JavaScript files are going to be injected. So I'm going to copy this here, copy this, and for now I'm going to paste it here. Let's uh, add one comment here. Inject CSS and I'm gonna copy this, copy and paste it here one more time and let's make CSS to JS and in and inject. So this section gonna contain all our JavaScript file and this section is going to contain all of our CSS file. So <coughs> With those changes we should be able to inject uh, the files that are listed under js underscore file into um, inject js section and the files that are listed under css underscore file into the inject css section of our layout file so i'm gonna remove this from here i'm gonna remove uh, all the css and javascript all the CSS file and the JavaScript files. Let's remove this. Let's remove this. Let's save this and uh, let's open our terminal and then let's try to run our task uh, gulp inject. So G uh, gulp inject. Let's switch back to the layout.css demo file and uh, uh, I want you to see in this uh, inject CSS section when I run the task. So the, our task has been completed successfully and we see that all of our CSS files has been injected into the CSS section and if we scroll down all of our all of our js file had have has been injected into our uh, js section so in this way we can automate our html and css javascript and css injection into layout.css html file so next time uh, you we download any client side library we just need to go here and include the reference to that file here and then the we run the when we run the task that will be uh, automatically injected into this section so let's try this uh, let's bring the javascript library let's say we need to use the underscore.js so i'm gonna install npm install underscore let's just save And we have successfully installed underscore into our project. Now let's bring this currently right at the moment the underscore is inside node modules and we want to copy this inside the node modules of www directory and we have a gulp task called copy npm. So I'm gonna run that gulp copy npm. So that's gonna copy our underscore into the node modules directory let's uh, refresh this and uh, we have got underscore copied into our node modules inside www root now we want to inject that underscore into layout.css.html what we need to do is uh, we just need to come here and uh, let's provide the path to the uh, underscore uh, library so it is inside the www root www root slash uh, node underscore modules slash underscore slash underscore dot js underscore dot js let's save this and we need to make sure that we uh, provide the reference to the files in the order of their dependency uh, what I mean is that uh, for instance the bootstrap.js depends on the jQuery so we need to put uh, uh, bootstrap after jQuery with this uh, let's switch back to the layout.css HTML. let's go to the JS section and let's clear the uh, terminal and let's run our task gulp 
inject and that should inject our underscore into the js section gulp inject let's run that again uh, save this i missed uh, i made a small typo it should be dot slash let's save this and uh, again switch back to index layout.cshtml and let's try to run our task again gulp inject and this time it has successfully injected our underscore into the js section of our layout.cshtml file so let's head over back to our project once refresh and our project is still running we see no error in the console and let's try to search for the page and it has shown the autocomplete for us let's search let's try to click on delete and it has shown the bootstrap dialog for us so in this way we can automate html javascript and css file injection into our project and that saves us a lot of time the only thing we need to do is we need to provide the path of the file specify the path of the file into js files and css file section after we install our uh, client side library and all right that's it for now and i'll see you soon thanks for watching